Hi there, my name is Becca Tovin. Um, I'm a cartoonist um, and artist, and you're joining me in my studio in Vancouver, uh, where I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to um, use 3D media in your comics. Um, let's go. To start off with, I'm uh, going to be inking the lines and sort of laying in the colour of the comic. Um, and this is just a little four panel one as an example. I really like using 3D media like clay um, to give a sense of like another reality in a comic or in a, um, in a sort of scene. Uh, I often use it for, for example, uh, the cover of a comic. Um, so in this little comic, um, I'm gonna be um, making a little fairy out of clay that the alien is gonna be talking to. Um, so yeah, so usually what I start off with is sort of a vague drawing of what I want. You can kind of see here um, the fairy in pencil um, and yeah, just sort of go through and paint and sort of, you know, render the stuff I want in paint in 2D, um, just sort of like paint that into the comic. Um, I don't have like any specific like hard and fast techniques for this. Um, usually I just kind of go with what feels right. Um, so I want the fairy to be sort of appearing in a little starburst and um, have a little glow around it, which is going to be this yellow and pink that I'm putting in. Um, I keep my brush pretty wet a lot of the time, um, especially when I'm laying down the original colors because it's just easier to lay down the colors flat and sort of not have any like weird textures. Um, so yeah, I'm going in with black just to give it a bit of um, nice contrast. I am a big proponent of feeling out the colors. Um, I'm not a huge color theorist. I think you should use colors that feel fun and work for your project. So yeah, here I wanted to use like a heavy black because I feel like it will give the fairy a little bit more of a pop. And yeah, the aliens just talking to the fairy. Uh, super simple, just an encounter with a strange being. The watercolors I use are um, De La Rowney uh, watercolors and a few other different tubes that I've picked up. Um, I have a pretty simple setup um, and do a lot of mixing of like primary colors, which I'd really recommend um, for anyone who just wants to start out. Don't overload yourself with loads of colors, just get a few and just kind of go from there um, and learn and mix and just have fun with it, I think is the main part of um, what makes a good watercolor comic. Yeah, now I'm going in with a little bit of um, pencil just to add a little bit of shading on cheeks of the alien and also the eyes and the like skin. Yeah, I like to do this just to, you know, give a little bit of depth. Oh, there you go. Now I'm going back in with a gel pen just to highlight. Okay, so now I've got um, the comic painted. I'm going to go and um, start making the clay portion. Um, so here we go. So I've got a little drawing that I did of sort of the vague shape of the guy. I'm going to be using this old female. Um, you can get new female. Um, I really like it. It's really easy to get um, from craft stores. Um, and um, yeah, I'm going to be mixing white and teal female together, as you can see here. Um, Yes, yeah, so it takes a little bit of warming up, so you know, just kind of give it a squash, and then eventually it'll sort of get it's like, like into like a nice soft, rubbery kind of texture, which is really nice to work with. There you go. The magic of movies means that it is done already. So I'm going to um, be rolling it out and making four of these little guys, like the one that I drew in the top left corner. Um, I personally just like using my hands. I don't really have any tools, but as many or as little tools as you want, I think works. But yeah, I just use my hands usually just to sort of manipulate it. Um, 
yeah, kind of uh, using a pair of scissors here just to kind of get a little bit more of an indentation. I usually go for something that is going to stand out a little bit from the page so it really gets a bit of that 3D um, look to it. Um, I've chosen to do um, a kind of light blue because I think it will show up and the texture will look good um, on the finished product as opposed to something like white or like a dark kind of colour which I think will look quite flat uh, whereas I kind of want a bit more of an interesting texture. Um, I'm going to make four of these little guys as you can see just here. So after moulding my Fimo I'm um, going to put it in the oven. Here are the cooled Fimo models that have just gotten a little bit darker so keep that in mind when you're working with Fimo that they will get slightly darker in colour. I'm just going in now with um, a paintbrush and some acrylic paint just to paint some faces on them. In one panel of the comic the fairy is talking so um, I'm going to have a little open mouth. But it's about as simple as that. Um, and once those are dry they'll be ready to place on the comic. Right here you can see the finished product. Uh, you can either at this point take a photograph or you can scan this in. Sometimes if I've been doing kind of collage stuff I'll glue everything down to the paper. Other times I'll just place it sort of where I want to and take a picture. And you don't have to use clay, you can use almost anything you can find in the world, um, I think. But with um, a medium like this, the most important thing is to have fun and enjoy what you're doing and work with what you have around you. So I hope you enjoyed that and good luck making some fun 3D comics.